Good morning everybody, it's Lisa. I'm just showing you some of my samples and what to possibly work with if you decide to have a house party. I have made up some samples. They're about uh, a quarter of an ounce each. Um, I have given away bigger samples in the past, but you know, I have to kind of keep track of my supplies and not give away everything. But uh, I have a few different things and that is hemp seed oil flavored with mad oils dragon's blood it looks pretty it doesn't have a great scent this product will be done differently in the future so that the scent will be more strong but it is a sample to get the idea of what hemp seed oil soap is about this here is a plain shampoo with four different kinds of oils plus jojoba and this is the Irish soap it is 17% hemp seed oil with the Irish tweed scent and it's phthalate free fragrance. And this is pine tar soap and that is really good for blemishes and you know certain other conditions. And this here is an herbal shampoo and it is loaded with um, herbs and how I incorporated the herbs was I took sweet almond oil and I cooked it for several hours on low heat uh, with herbs, comfrey leaves, dandelion leaves, jasmine flowers, um, what else, marshmallow roots, and rose hips. I ground up the rose hips first and I threw them in the slow cooker. And in addition, I added some extracts marshmallow extract and turmeric extract. Uh, turmeric is a really big favorite for people in India. Uh, they love turmeric because it's so good to the skin and it is also a brightener. It can be used in the hair to make your hair color brighter. Um, I only use a very small amount of the turmeric so it's not going to affect your hair color. Okay, in addition, um, the marshmallow extract that is a natural uh, soothing herb and it's kind of like a detangler and a conditioner. It's kind of like slippery elm which is used you know to coat the throat for when you have a sore throat. Um, I've seen marshmallow root used in Chanel products okay. My daughter and I we have We've been really, uh, I, I, I don't know if you could call it good or bad, but we've been big shoppers in the past on the high-end uh, makeup and skincare products, and we've seen quite a bit of them, and I read the fine print, as most of my friends know. So Marshmallow is, was in a, uh, a, a facial treatment as a very calming ingredient. It calms the face down. And in addition, I also have Chinese pearl powder in this recipe. The pearl powder is also anti-inflammatory. Uh, however, I was using it as a brightener and lightener, but it really didn't do much for it, so I don't think I'll include it in the future. In the future batches, I'm going to include nettle and horsetail. I did, I did have the nettle, but I forgot to throw it in. And the horsetail is difficult for me to find, but I will find it. Okay, and now in addition to everything I've mentioned, there is liquid silk protein in this uh, shampoo, and there is also DL panthenol, which gets converted to vitamin B5, and it affects your cellular level, it affects all your cells, and it is good for hair growth, okay, as are most of my herbs that I included here. So I know it looks like a plain little soap and gee, what could it possibly do? But everything that we put in our skin and hair does get absorbed and it does affect you. And over time there are results and immediately that is a very silky shampoo. Uh, you will feel it and the pine tar is very silky without having any silk in it at all. And the hemp seed oil is also very silky. Um, this the effect of the castor oil leaves a very, very nice, clean feeling on your scalp. And by the way, this soap is in this soap. It's just that the herbal soap 
the herbal shampoo has the extra herbs and extracts and everything that's why it's darker but it this also has 25 percent castor oil so it is a uh, very cleansing of the scalp and it does not leave a soapy film on your scalp and i know that does sound like how could that be because all the stuff we buy in the in the you know grocery store in the salon you know it, you know we end up getting some film on our hair and then we have to use another shampoo to remove the film that's not the case here all right so these are uh hemp seed oil with lavender it was hand milled two different batches of soap hand milled together one batch was hemp 17 percent hemp seed oil the other batch was this the plain soap okay i use this along with the hemp seed oil to kind of create a harder bar um and then the scent worked out good in this one whereas this was 17 percent hemp seed oil also hand milled but the scent didn't take so i'm going to have to change around my methods either add more scent to it or just use that particular scent and maybe like a melt and pour soap that sticks to scents and here's my cute little gift wrapping and my boxes irish soap and mango butter soap i really do think those two are going to be very popular because i think people can relate to them uh, even my kitty relates to it. He goes nuts for the Irish soap. When I come out of the shower, he will cry for me to lay down with him when I smell like this. <laughs> and these are my Dead Sea Salts. And they are the Lavender and Lavendin. They have 1.5 teaspoons of magnesium oil added to my jars, which are 14 ounces. But these are 7 ounces in each bag probably perfect for one bath they're very relaxing you absorb minerals much easier through bath water minerals delivered through the bath water even you will absorb it better than the supplements that are on, on the market doctors do recommend that you use epsom salts in your bath um, especially if you are on a detox program and detox sounds like an icky word but really Everybody should be detoxing. In fact, I've even heard that it is in the Bible that fasting is recommended to be done often. And the people who are the most healthy on the planet are in the Mediterranean area. And everybody thinks that it's because they like olive oil and salads and the Mediterranean diet. But it's also because the people in that area of the world do a lot of fasting. It's because it's related to their religious practices. But aside from the religious practices, fasting is a good idea. And if not fasting per se, um, what's the buzzword today in um, the uh, health circles is doing detoxes, which really means you're taking in the proper foods that help you release toxins out of your body. And one of the things to do is to take a hot bath with Epsom salts or Dead Sea salts. I happen to, um, you know, try out the sea salt business here, and um, I personally like them. They are very, very effective. Anyway, here, I'm going to show you something else. These are all my samples getting ready to go to friends that may have a house party. And there again, these are not huge, but they're cute. And um, so, and by the way, look at my hand. I have lost a little weight and I can barely hold on to my jewelry. This ring was given to me by my managers at Bank of America. So I hope you like that. Um, they were very sweet ladies that I worked with. Um, you know, times have changed, but. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I have today to show you. And... I hope you don't see too much of my messy, messy room here. But anyway, I'm kind of proud of what I'm doing here. It's cool. And by the way, my goal is for ha to make happy customers. I am not concerned with selling volumes of stuff right now because it's just me doing most of this. And 
I'm just concerned that my customers are happy and you know really enjoy my products and as time goes on I will get a program that you can enter in all the ingredients that is used and calculate exactly what the products are worth. I pretty much know what the products are worth because we've been big consumers of these kinds of things in the past. So we, we pretty much know. I compare my products to two on the market. One is I compare them to Lush because they make fresh handmade soaps, but mine are better because I have more moisturizers and more conditioners. And I also compare my soaps to the African uh, soaps on the market because the African soaps do have a high level of conditioners and moisturizers. And uh, you don't see shea butter here right now, but you will in the future. I have made it. Um, it's just that, you know, this is what I have right now going on. I'm going to be doing a lot of hemp seed oil soaps because I bought a gallon of it and I really haven't even used much of it, even though I've done several batches. But there's going to be a lot more hemp seed soaps. I just see it as, you know, really good because, you know, the laws are changing about, you know, cannabis and such. And of course, you know that the hemp seed oil soap that I use has, you know, it's, it is the same plant cannabis sativa, but it does not have that ingredient that, you know, makes people high. So don't get that impression. Uh, and I don't know how long people have been using this hemp seed oil. I, I get the impression it's been legal for quite some time, but I'm just getting into it. I just figured I'd try it. And then in the meantime, I found out that it's such a, you know, great substance, you know, it's, it's really good for the skin. So that may be my little niche, but I will be doing shea butter in the future and cocoa butter products because, you know, I really like them. And our friends from Africa may even be helping supply me with some of these ingredients in the future. We hope. All right. Have a nice day and thanks for listening. Okay. Bye.